How's it going, everybody? Thank you for joining us today. We'll be looking at Mark chapter 3, verse 31 through 35, as we continue these devotionals on the family series. This is what it says, Then Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him. So he came to see him. We'll revisit that in just a moment. They stood outside and sent word for him to come out and talk with them. There was a crowd sitting around Jesus. I mean, you know, anytime Jesus appears at a place and he's teaching and there's living words coming out of his mouth and there's miracles taking place, there's going to be a crowd that follows. And they said to Jesus, they sitting around Jesus, someone said, your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. So Mary and his family had come. Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked at those around him and said, look, these are my mother and my brothers. Anyone who does, this is important, God's will is my brother and sister and mother. I want to give you just three observations here at this text. The first one is this, is that Jesus' family came to see, to see. Now, you need to understand what's taking place in Mark chapter 3 before is that Jesus has healed the man with the withered hand. And with that, there was a lot of stir among the religious leaders. And the stir was not a positive stir. They were upset. They were angry. So you see early on in the Gospel of Mark, his account, that the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the religious leaders in Jesus' day, their emotions are evoked early with anger and hostility towards Jesus. Now, Jesus' family has, he has heard about and they're witnessing that there's things happening in Jesus' world that they don't understand. Now, you do know that Jesus was revealed to his mother Mary that he would be the Messiah. The angel of the Lord came to her. So she knows that he's set apart. She knows he's the Messiah. But they came to see what was going on. And in fact, other before this, it talks about how they were coming to take him away because they thought he had gone crazy. Now, this is what I want you to think about. They were in close proximity to Jesus, but they were missing what Jesus was all about. Even his own family did not understand what Jesus was doing. Now, it's interesting to me that Mary knew, and you know she had communicated some things to his other family members, brothers and sisters. She knew that God's hand was on Jesus. She knew the will of the Lord. Now watch this. And many times we will know God's will for our life. Lord, you want me to live set apart. God, you want me to be in your presence. God, you have this calling on my life. And many of you, you've heard God's voice and you feel a sense of direction towards a certain thing or a certain place, or certain relationships. Yet, we may know his will, but sometimes we don't understand his ways. And so Mary and the family did not understand the ways of Jesus. And I want to encourage you today, don't question the ways of God. God's ways are higher than our ways. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt really strong, God was going to move? He was going to perform a miracle. He was going to perform something that he has spoken to you. And you knew his will in regards to the situation. But the way he did it was much different than you anticipated. And sometimes we can get caught off guard. We can lose track when his ways are not the way that we would have done them. And in this scene, here they are, close proximity to Jesus. But they are looking from a distance. They don't go in the house. They're outside the house. Second thing is this, is that they stood. They stood. The other people are in the house, and they are listening to every word coming out of Jesus' mouth. And they're sitting. And when they're sitting, they're soaking in everything that he has to say. But here his own family is standing outside. When really, if you want to get good direction for your life, you want to have peace in your life, then you need to sit at his feet. I found personally for me, when I stand off in the distance and I don't understand the ways of God, Lord, I don't understand why you're doing it this way. Uh, God, I wish that your timing was a little different. I, I want it expedited a little bit faster. And I start standing off in the distance instead of sitting close, you start to miss it. 
You know, faith comes by what? It comes by hearing. And hearing what? The Word of God. You find yourself in a season where you're confused and you're a little baffled by where you are and what God is doing. Can I encourage you? Don't stand off in a distance. Sit at His feet. When you sit at His feet, you will be fed everything you need for that moment and for that day. You know, oftentimes we want things just to be fixed instantaneously, immediately. But God has a way of day by day providing us our daily bread. Not just what we eat physically, but what we need spiritually. And God will do that, but you have to be sitting at his feet. Don't stand off in a distance. Sit at his feet. And the final thing is this, Savior. So they saw, they see, they stood, and then Savior. They were coming to save Jesus. Man, he's, he's missing it here. I mean, you know, Jesus never misses it. We need to help Jesus here. I mean, you know, Jesus doesn't need our help. They were thinking we're coming to save him, but not too many years later from this point, Jesus would be saving them. Jesus would be saving us. And I love that Jesus says, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? It could come across like, man, Jesus got to be a little rude here. Why didn't he appreciate his family who's traveled, who've come to see, trying to help him? And he says, anyone who does my will is my family. Jesus isn't being exclusive. He's not being mean. He's being inclusive. What's he saying? He's saying, anyone who listens to my words and lives by them, they're part of everything I have to offer them. So I want to encourage you today. And don't look from a distance. Don't stand outside of the house. Get yourself at the feet of Jesus. Even when you don't understand his ways, trust his will. Believe that his ways are higher than yours. His thoughts are higher than yours. And everything that he has said, listen to me, will come to pass. There's someone listening and watching right now who you are baffled by your situation. You're questioning, God, are you really here? Are you really going to do what I felt like you said you're going to do? Don't doubt his will and ways for your life. His word is yes and amen. His promises cannot fail. Sit at his feet and watch the Savior do what only the Savior can do. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you that you are good, that you are powerful, that you are mighty. God, be with us today as we follow you, that we won't stand off in a distance, that God, we will sit at your feet. Let us feast from your table everything you have for us and that we will be filled with joy, with love, with peace, and all that you have to offer us. In Jesus' name, amen. 